Hi, I'm Willie. Welcome to my channel. Thank you for being here. I appreciate each and every one of you. And what we're going to take a look at in this build an ISP video is we're going to take a look at all the connectors and the cables and everything that we're using back here to hook things together and uh, make them make them run. So the first thing that we're going to look at, this is actually an SFP plus module, just a, a standard SFP. Well, it's a Ubiquiti multi-mode SFP plus module. So this is what we're going to use between the OLT and the edge router infinity. And you can see that's just got uh, the connectors on the end. And uh, we'll bring this up. I'll show you what these cost over the store. These are pretty inexpensive these days, but this will provide that 10 gig connectivity between the, the router and the OLT. So then the next thing that we need to look at is this is the, um, the model number is UACC UFOMXGS. But this is the module that actually goes out to the clients and allows us to get uh, 10 gig and 10 gig symmetrical connections. You see, we got one fiber in. We'll go out to our uh, MUX and then out to the clients. Now we could skip the MUX and go uh, directly to our splitter. That's another option. Then let's see. Then if we are not going to run XG Pond, then we have the standard Pond adapter. And the model number on this one is UF. UFGBB plus, and you can see it's that exact same uh, format as the XGS, except obviously this is not going to provide symmetrical and is not going to provide 10 gig. It's going to provide that maximum um, gig to two gig speeds of a standard pawn. The next thing that we've got here is we actually have our uh, patch cord and the patch cords that I'm using, these are the fiber patch cords, SCUPC to SCAPC. And if you remember our glossary, we talked about the different colors and things like that. Also has to do with the uh, angle on the, the ferrule. Then the next thing that we are using here is the fiber APC adapter. And this is what's gonna connect uh, SCAPC to SCAPC to allow us to connect two of these cables. These actually come in a pack of uh, 50. I only needed one for the moment. I'll probably use a couple more, but there we have it. Then the other thing that we've got is this is our, this is actually our splitter. And what this is going to do is it's going to take one connection coming out of the OLT and split it into 32. So there's four rows of eight in here. So we can have 32 customers off of this single strand. So um, you're going to see this. We're going to hook uh, multiple clients to this when we get to that part of the build. So real quick, let's let me pull up my um, screen here. So first of all, remember we're using the uh, OLT XGS coming in at an MSRP of three thousand nine hundred ninety nine USDs. But then here is that XGS XG optical transceiver. It's got ten gig throughput, up to twenty kilometers. Obviously. Fiber cable is not included. MSRP 289 on that. And this stuff is actually really inexpensive when you think about what you're getting. And then here is that standard GPON OLT SFP module. This is the exact model we've got. That one comes in at $79. The patch cables that we're using, you can see it's SC to UPC to SCAPC. Cable length 1.5 meters. These are about $2 a piece. Then the uh, splitter, you can get these in 1 to 4, 1 to 8, 1 to 16, or 1 to 32. And as you can see, they are um, terminated with the SCAPC connector. And so if you just do a 4 split, it's 10, but the 1 to 32 comes in at $43. Very inexpensive. Um, very inexpensive. 
And then the last piece of this is that fiber APC adapter that allows us to hook those cables together. It comes in a 50 pack, single mode fiber, eight bucks. But let me pause this, let me grab uh, one of these cables and I'll show you. And then in the next video, we'll physically wire everything up, go over the wiring, and then we're gonna start our uh, configuration. I'm hoping that Ubiquiti has good news about that edge router firmware for me by then, but let me, let me grab another cable. Hold on just a second. All right, so you can see I've got two of my patch cables and now I have that adapter uh, installed and they just, the cable, it's slotted, it's notched, so you can't really screw it up and they just slide in like that. So pretty, pretty simple and you'll see, we'll put it all together uh, for that next video. If you've got any questions about this, let me know. I'm really excited. Now we're at the spot where we're going to start building it out. We've got our Protectly box back, that, back there that is going to host our UISP. We're going to host that in-house. We'll talk about hosting it in-house versus hosting it with Ubiquiti. Ubiquiti does do free UISP hosting. Uh, and I will talk about why if we're not going to host it ourselves, we should let Ubiquiti host it. So we'll talk about that. If you've got any other questions about these cables or connectors, let me know. So now we're going to start really getting into the, the meat and potatoes of stuff. And if you like this video, give it a thumbs up, subscribe, comment, share, follow me on Twitter and TikTok. Those links are down below along with affiliate links. Um, and a Patreon link. And if you need it consulting, head on over willyhow.com. Fill out the contact form that's on the front page and someone will be in touch with you as soon as possible. Come on over to community.willyhow.com and join our community. Once again, I'm Willie. I want to thank you for being here and I can't wait to start building out this ISP and I'll see you in the next video.